Yo dudes, what's up again? Uh, this is gonna be, uh, just a, like, thrown together, thrown together video, uh, on a couple different topics. Uh, I've got some pretty good news. Um, it's not happening yet, but there's a little thing gonna be coming up where you guys are gonna be interested in. Um, there's a new gun smithing uh, a new gunsmithing outlet opening up here in Pennsylvania and uh, they're they are fans of the Armory channel which is it sounds funny when I say that I don't consider anybody fans they're just subscribers they're subscribers of the Armory channel and they left me a PM saying uh, you know we really like your channel we watch it a lot and uh, we're going to have a grand opening of our new gunsmithing outlet and we want the Armory channel to come and video for its debut grand opening so I was like shit yeah because I don't have any in-house gun store or gun part in store videos at all you know what I mean uh, usually uh, you know the channels that are more you know talk like uh, you know they don't use foul language and stuff like that and they have a thousand bazillion subscribers usually they're the channels that get them opportunities so I didn't expect that happen to me uh, like I said I don't curse on purpose you know uh, when I get mad I curse a lot it's just uh, it's just where I come from it really doesn't mean anything it's uh, you know I, I would I, I would hope that you guys take it as a humorous thing you know because I think that that's the way I take it. When I hear people curse, I think it's funny. Unless they're cursing at me or directing it at me. Uh, when I say faggot and homo, I am not a... It uh, has nothing to do with gay people at all. It's just a slang. And it's just a, a you know, a derogatory remark to leave at somebody I, I don't like. Uh, it has nothing to do with hating gay people or anything like that. You know what I mean? I don't care what gay people do. So I don't want you to think... And I'm like, you know, this anti-gay person or hateful guy, because I'm not. It's just all in fun. They're just words that sound funny, you know. It, it's homos. It's the most it's hysterical, funny word I ever heard. Really not necessarily what it means, just the way it sounds. Okay? Just wanted to get all that straight. Anyway, nothing's changing. Everything's the same. But I just don't want people to think I'm a hateful person. Okay? Um, yeah, uh, I don't think I've done this before. I've seen a lot of guys do it, and I gotta put my stamp on it now. And it's a good video idea. A lot of video ideas I get is from some other channels, you know, but I'll put my own spin on it. And everyone else pretty much gets their ideas from other videos. But once in a while, you come up with your own original idea. Um, <clears throat> but this is not one of them. That there is a Springfield uh, mil spec 1911, and it's never been shot yet. So I half like it. Remember I told you that before? Because I don't know how good it's going to shoot yet. Uh, the action feels pretty good. It's tight. It's, it's really tight. I'm a little concerned about it, but it might be nothing. It might be just because it's new. Uh, I'm talking about the guide rails and the fit on the slide. Very tight. So I had to really um, lube it up and to loosen it up a little. Uh, but it's a Springfield, you know. So far, I've never had a bad Springfield. I've heard once in a while someone saying uh, they don't like Springfield 1911s. I don't know how this that is. They've been making 1911s almost as long as Colt. Colt and Springfield have been making 1911s longer than anybody. Oh, sorry, Remington, too. Colt, Remington, and Springfield are the oldest 1911 makers. Uh, yeah. The other gun there is a USP Compact 40. Uh, that one is loaded. Um, I keep that with me a lot. Uh, I love HK's quality. I've, I'm a, uh, I believe in it. I uh, just, I, what the hell is the word I want to ask for? Uh, I trust my life with it 100%. I know that gun's going to work. So I carry that. You know, I carry that a lot. I carry Glocks a lot carry the XD you know once in a while I carry my 1911 just for the hell of it they're just still hard to carry because they're heavy 
Uh, but if you get the right holster or not, really the smaller commander size ones ain't that hard to carry. But they're there because I consider this gun to be like a precious beauty and this one to be a rough polymer. Ain't got to worry about if it gets scratched or anything. Even though, believe it or not, this HK polymer was more money than this beautiful 1911. Uh, this 1911 here was six, and uh, you're looking at like almost nine for this. But like I said, if you're a gun collector, and you know you don't have an HK, it has a wonderful rep reputation, and you're going to want an HK in your collection. Just like there's Glock people out there that don't like Glocks, but they're gun collectors, but they just want one in their collection. But I think once they get it in their collection and shoot it, they'll become a Glock fan. Okay. Uh, my favorite handgun is the 1911. Hands down, it's the most accurate gun there is for me, for a lot of people. Anyway, these are uh, some cleaning products I have. Uh, Mike from the Firearms Channel did something similar to this, so I guess you can call this a video response to that. Well, a lot of guys have done it. Uh, Fred Hart, he has a real good uh, video on cleaning products where he puts it on. It's called... Uh, uh, the truth plate or something like that he puts it on a piece of steel leaves it outside and uh, it's pretty cool it shows you uh, which spots start rusting and then which spots don't and uh, Ballastol, Militech I think they held up better than any of them uh, Hoppies was okay but there was a little rust Remington sucks <laughs> there was rust on it like after like three days so check that video out it's pretty good uh, Fred Hart the Gun Geek channel. Uh, like uh, my opinion, uh, this this is just a cleaner. I just wanted to show everybody this. Uh, this is good stuff. If you want to leave something on your gun overnight, because I don't recommend leaving any cleaner on a gun overnight. That's really uh, powerful. This foam bore cleaner, you just sh it's for your barrel. You just shoot it in your barrel, and you can leave it in your barrel overnight. Okay. Man, the lighting all of a sudden down here blows. I don't know why. So this is something safely you can use on your gun overnight. But just the barrel, not all over the uh, the finish and everything. <clears throat> bore cleaner is good. It's a great bore cleaner. Exactly what it is. Uh, this is just Remington oil. All this is is a lubricant. But uh, the Remington oil, you know, guys like it because it's Remington. It's old school. But it's really like out of all the oils out there, it's it's like the cheapest you can get, and it's it's not it's not very good. It's really thin, it's watery, it's better than nothing. If you don't have anything and you have a can of this, use this. But there's way better product out there than this stuff. This stuff isn't that great. Okay. Uh, this one I have back here. This is good. Anything Gunslick makes is good. Gunslick makes some good ass shit, man. They used to make this gun grease. It was black. It came in a silver, like toothpaste type of packet, but I don't, I can't find it anymore. Uh, and it was for uh, grease, for greasing the rails. But this is just gun oil. This ain't grease. But anything gun slick makes pretty good. Uh, Remington's, I mean Remington. Hoppies is really good. I don't, I, I barely ever use it. You know what I mean? It's pretty good. I like the smell of it. Uh, but as you can see the dust on the top I barely ever use the hoppies this is just around in case I run out of something else but the hoppies is good hoppies is very good it's a good protector it's a good solvent uh, it's not really known as a lubricator but it's a good cleaner protector and a solvent okay so hoppies 9 is legendary and it's good okay uh, Militech 1 is fantastic. It's not a cleaner though. It's just a lubricant and a, and a uh, protector. And it is fantastic. Uh, Gargwar 1981 sent me this one. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, he's a great guy. I, mean, he, I, I consider him in the tight circle of friends. And uh, I hope he keeps doing what he's doing. There's a lot of people like him. Thanks for the Militech. Militech's fantastic. And this stuff, I haven't tried it yet. Someone sent me this. But it looks like good stuff. It's called Weapon Shield. And I've heard good things about it. The Weapon Shield. Is this thing going to focus today? Yeah. And uh, some guy was kind enough to send me some. And uh, I'm going to give it a shot. 
I'm going to coat the inside of my uh, Yugo AK-47 because it doesn't have a chrome line barrel and I don't shoot it too much so I want to make sure the barrel's coated inside so there's no pitting. Uh, Ballistol, you know, to me, I don't care what anybody says, if you think, you know, just because the guy sends me a can once in a while, it doesn't mean uh, I'm promoting it just to get a can of Ballistol, I don't care. Uh, if you look at Fred Hart's uh, video uh, called The Truth Plate, or The Plate Truth, one or the other, uh, you'll see Ballistol definitely comes out on top. Uh, this stuff is amazing. The, the reason why this is so great is because with this, you don't need 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 this. This does all. It does it all. I don't care if it looks like a fucking infomercial. I'm telling you right now, this is this stuff's the best. I don't care anybody says. Why it's the best is because it lubricates, it penetrates, cleans, protects, preserves. It's all in one. You don't need a whole bunch of different shit. This does it all. You can clean your gun with it wipe your whole gun down then put your cleaning patch through your barrel with coated with ballistol and it will protect it as long as your gun sits in your safe and the stuff never dries out it takes a I mean everything eventually dries out but this takes the longest to dry out of all them other uh, solvents but I keep them all just because I like to have experience with them all that's all I want experience with all this it makes me more knowledgeable about about this stuff you know what I mean so, but Hoppies is good, but like I said, uh, Hoppies is, is not a, a, um, a, what's the name? All it is is a solvent, you know what I'm saying, this one. It's just a solvent. All this is, all this is for, this one here, is to break down copper, whatever it breaks down, and to clean, okay? But uh, this does all three. You only need a can of this, that's all you need, that's it. I prefer the aerosol can. Uh, you can also get one of these. I'm going to give one to my... A friend of mine that helped me out with my washer machine, uh, LSKW1. Uh, my washer machine broke, and uh, I told him what it was doing because I'm not a mechanic on washer machines, but I am was a mechanic on heating systems and stuff, so I have a lot of tools. So he told me what was wrong with it, and uh, walked me through it. And uh, as of right now, I'm fixing it right now as we speak. It's just a micro switch that makes the uh, the drum spin. Did you really want to know about that? Probably not, but you know, I like to tell you guys everything because I consider you like buddies. You know what I mean? It's fine. I mean, I see these other gun channels, they talk about all kinds of crazy shit other than guns. But what's good about uh, the ballast all is see, if I use hop, if I use hoppies on this gun, I gotta fucking worry. I gotta take these damn grips off because if the hoppy sits on these beautiful grips, it'll take the finish right the fuck off. Do I feel like worrying about that? No, I don't feel like worrying about that. Am I lazy? Yes, I'm extremely lazy. Do I feel like taking the grips off? No. Uh, should you take your grips off? Well, if you're using Ballastol, you don't have to take your grips off every time you clean your gun, but every once in a while, at least once a year, you should take your grips off because it will build up a film around the edges from cleaning your gun. But uh, I don't take them off every time I clean the gun. First of all, it's not good for the screw heads. It's not good for the threads inside the frame or the bushing. It's not good. It's not uh, the the gun is not meant for the, the constantly unscrewing and screwing and uh, unscrewing and screwing. It's not meant for that. It's not supposed to. Be, you're not supposed to do that. So uh, you will uh, loosen up the threads in there if you keep doing that all the time. Just because it's just metal rubbing on metal. But I will not use hoppies on this gun. I will use ballistol. Uh, I'll use hoppies on this gun, but I won't let it sit long, because remember, this is polymer, and this is like a petroleum, and you know, this is strong shit, and uh, I don't think it would invest it up, but I ain't going to leave it on there to find out. So, what does hoppies do, pretty much? It pretty much sits up here on the shelf, and it, I, I really don't use it. Why would I use that when I can use a ballast on and I have to worry about my guns getting damaged by harsh products? Anyway. That's it. Uh, yeah. Nothing really going on right now. Going to be joining the uh, new gun range. That would be uh, next Monday. Yes. And we'll start getting some shooting videos done. Um, 
yeah yeah I guess you can call this an update lube video <laughs> it ain't much going on but let me know what you think let me know uh, uh, what, what cleaning products you have and to solvents you have and I like this video response stuff I think it's a lot of fun so here's another one I'm gonna throw at you this is another video response send a video response on your cleaning products that you have what you think are good and what you've had the best of luck with okay if there's anything here you never used before then you're not an authority to say anything against it like if you don't have ballast oil you know don't talk shit against it if you don't have hoppies don't talk shit against it you know what I mean just talk what you got and uh, let, let us know uh, what your views are on that stuff okay so if anyone uh, wants to see uh, any other good videos on cleaning products like I said uh, the firearms channel's got a good one and uh, Fred Hart the gun geeks got a good one and uh, I like to see mr. 45 bullet do one how about everybody how everybody go over to mr. 45 bullets page and say Bill do a gun solvent video alright thanks guys see you